Now this is a sample of 30 students, 30 boys and girls, popliteal length or popliteal height. So the distance, this I have googled, and uh, the distance from this, uh, from your knee to the, to the end of your foot is called popliteal height or popliteal length. So from this data, the question that should arise is, I wonder, if the popliteal length of boys is the same as that of girls. Okay, so this is my plan. I'm going to calculate some of the statistics for both boys and girls. Uh, draw, uh, I should write here, draw box plot for both boys and girls on the same scale, which would help me to answer my problem or answer my question by looking at the median shift. I'm going to look at two things, median shift and overlap between the two box plots. Okay, that will help me to decide whether boys and girls have the same length or are different okay so what i have done is already worked this out so the first thing that i have done is you can calculate this this is unordered the boy the length of boys and girls are unordered so what i did is i used excel to order it so and i have calculated the statistics so so this is the ordered uh pop little height for boys and girls so obviously this is your minimum so this is your minimum for boys and girls so this is 22 and 28 so let's go to maximum so maximum is 56 so they are the same so that's simple so that is 56 so medium is so this is how i work first find minimum find maximum that's easiest then you find the median median is the middle of the data so if you've got 30 data, if you've got 30 data set, the middle would be between the 15th and the 16th. So this is how I calculate. So I go 30 plus 1 over 2, which is 31 over 2, which is 15.5 data. So when you can't have a 15 point, you have either the 15th data or the 16th data. So if you want, what does this mean? This means you have to take the average of the 15th and the 16th data. So what I have done is, so I have circled the 15th and the 16th data. Okay, so if you take the average of 44 and 44, it is very interestingly 44. It doesn't make any difference. So and here, yeah, interestingly, the medians are also same. So the mean median is the same. So you add these two and divide it by two. So this is not going to change. So so 42, this between the 15th and the 16th uh, is the dividing line. So you've got 15 data to which is above me, above this value with this line and 15 underneath the line. So this is the lower half and this is the upper half. Now to find the lower quartile, you find the meet the middle of this top 50. So you do the same formula, which is if you find them if you want to find the middle of anything. You use this formula, which is 15 plus 1 over 2, which is 16 over 2, which is the 8th. So can you see I circled the 8th data in the uh, lower half, which is a lower quartile. And that's why it's 40 and 40. Okay. And same way you find the middle of the lower half. So I'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So again it is, this is your middle of the lower half which is 47 and sorry 46 and 47 okay so this is simply this is how you uh, locate the quartiles and the medians okay so it's not computation it is location so then i've drawn the box and whisker for boys and girls so this is only a sketch so i hope you understand the uh, the box and whisker so this is lowest or this is minimum lower quartile, median upper quartile, and maximum. So if you look at once, let us talk about the median shift. The median shift is the looking at the difference between the median. So the difference between the median is only two centimeters. Okay. And if you look at the overlap, you're looking at so let me draw the overlap. Now what does overlap mean? The overlap is if this is overlap is what is common for both the boxes. So you can see this box B completely overlaps the box of girls. So the box of boys overlaps the 
or you can say the other way around, whichever way. Box, uh, the box of girls overlaps the box of boys. Okay, I would say the box of boys overlaps girl, or you may say box of girls overlap boys, whichever way. Oh, complete overlap of boys over girls. So let me correct. Or you can also say girls over boys. It's one and the same thing, I believe. Girls over boys. Okay, so in other words, what is overlap? Something which is common. Okay, so here you can say, what is this meaning? This means that the middle 50% of boys is completely or is the same as 50% 50 50% uh, of girls. Okay, so this much is common for both boys and girls. I hope you understand what I mean. So this much is not ex exactly 50% for girls, it's less than 50%. So the middle 50% of boys completely overlaps the uh, less than 50% of girls. Okay, so that's not important. So what's this is my analysis. So this is my analysis. And finally, from this analysis, I will conclude. This is my conclusion. Both have almost the same pop little height, as there is almost complete overlap of boxes of boys over girls, and there is almost no median shift. Okay, so they have almost the same pop little height.